Hi. On my channel, we're usually talking about energy generation or how to store excess energy into batteries and use it at a later time. But in today's video, I want to look in the back side of the coin. So we are here in a hot climate here in Thailand and most of the energy we actually then further on consumed through air conditioning. So now at Isor we have 10 buildings and overall there are 16 uh, split air conditioning units installed. Uh, the total uh, output would be somewhere around 15 kilowatts if all of those air conditioning packs are running at one time. So it would be of course an incredible amount of energy. So how can you improve uh, this situation? Of course only by reducing the energy consumption at all. Air conditioning has to do something with buildings and buildings can be built energy efficient. We are here in a country where people usually don't, do not have so, so much money, so the way of construction is typically given by the amount of how much money someone can spend. But if you really do your homework, you will actually see that uh, a little bit in investment uh, into the building will actually save you uh, a lot of money uh, on the long run. We are going to uh, have, take a trip with the motorcycle and I will show you a few uh, examples of constructions here in Thailand, how they do it and what kind of materials they use. Later on I will show you how we did it here on our place. See how the buildings are made in Thailand. You have the reinforced concrete structure with the piles and with the beams and these areas will then be filled out with the different uh, materials for walls and in this case they are going for the cheapest one so let's see the other examples so this one now a uh, example of a new construction with the cheapest type of walls the seven centimeter three inch concrete block you can see the walls that would be a the size of the wall. So very thin. Not best material. And you see when they frame the windows, it's all just the same thickness. So very, very thin, everything of this. So it has to be reinforced. This is the brick. This one is an example for a red brick style building. Uh, they have all these small, small bricks and put them together and then they have to reinforce from time to time so that this does not collapse in or out of the building. It's a lot of work and you can't see this many times anymore because the brick is already kind of similar expensive than the next better material which is then the light concrete block. Here we have a close look on how those red bricks are put together. So you see it's also just a very thin wall, kind of 7 cm, 3 inch, somewhere in that area. And brick over brick. It's mostly just mortar actually. So this one now is an example of the uh, white light concrete blocks used for the construction of the wall. So it's the most contemporary and uh, now the best practice for the new construction. Yeah, so... That's uh, now the three examples of the three materials which are used in Thai construction and uh, let's see how we did it at home and uh, let's talk about the pros and cons of each material. We now have the different materials side by side. So the cheapest and less efficient one, the concrete block, then the red brick. It is said that this one has a three times better thermal efficiency than that one. And then, next step, the light concrete block. This one again, three times better than this one. And this is what we used. So we used, instead of the seven centimeter light concrete, a 20 centimeter light concrete block. So this again, 
three times better than this. So the step from here to here about 20 times better uh, thermal coefficient. Now you would say, wow, this must be such a big difference in price. No, actually not, because the most expensive thing on the construction of a house in Thailand is, of course, first the foundation and uh, the reinforced concrete structure. And this is just filling material. So uh, the price probably for the whole uh, project, if you build a house with this one, or with this one is maybe just 5% uh, overall in the total cost. So this one here which we use is not readily available uh, but of course uh, this can all be ordered but maybe if you stay far away from Bangkok uh, it will be probably more and more difficult. But if somebody is building in Thailand and he uh, wants to build a good way, these ones here are everywhere available so you could just double up uh, this block here and that's already then a quite good solution when building a house here but when it comes to energy efficient construction it of course is not only the materials which matter it's also how you build the stone has good properties to keep the heat out a glass not so much so that's why we have chosen not to build in this kind of like Bali style or something like this where you have uh, windows all around your room. Uh, we have uh, actually only glass on one side, but that side is a full window and the rest, all other sides are just closed with our thick walls. The roof is uh, back ventilated. So if there is a heat built up inside the roof, it will just be uh, pushed out in the gable there. And I will then show you also the ceiling is also specially insulated. So these are our standard bungalows and they are all built uh, that way. Factor of course is shadowing by uh, plants, by trees, palms, etc. around the houses. So you don't want to let the sun come too deep inside so everything can keep cool in the shadow. So here we can have a peak on the ceiling. Our ceilings they are just uh, drywall which is hanging from the roof structure but on the up there is always this insulation wool is uh, laid over the top so this keeps the heat away from the room uh, on the down. And as I said uh, there you can see the open roof cable which will uh, let the uh, heat go out immediately underneath the roofs. As you could see it uh, on the example how we did it, you now also uh, can imagine that our energy bill is pretty uh, low and why it is that we sometimes can use almost 60% of all of our generated energy right behind our meter and do not need to buy it from, from the grid. So if you live in a hot country, please tell us your experience, how, how the people in your country or in your area are dealing with this topic. And after all, this is good for the environment because all these uh, safe materials which do not need to be built into more and more solar systems or power plants etc can be of course used somewhere else where they are as well needed saved after all okay so thank you for watching uh, please comment if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i see you next time